How can teachers use ChatGPT to save time? In today's video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT and share 50 ways that teachers can use it to save hours in the class. Wait, let me ask ChatGPT. Write a YouTube script for 10 ways that teachers can use ChatGPT. GPT. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things education. Today we're going to discuss 10 ways that teachers can use ChatGPT to save time. So let's dive in. Cut to a close-up shot of a computer screen with ChatGPT open. Answer students' questions. <laughs> ChatGPT can help. Generating writing prompts. Check for plagiarism. Provide feedback. Create lesson plans. Conducting research. Summarizing articles. Translating. Creating quizzes and scheduling. There you have it, 10 ways that teachers can use ChatGPT to save time. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more educational content. Thanks for watching and finish. There you have it. Okay, you get the idea. Now, let me show you an even better list, one that I compiled because ChatGPT could never replace me. Hmm. First off, just Google ChatGPT, open it, Sign up and try it out. 50 ways teachers can use ChatGPT to save time. Number one, curriculum. You can create a draft version of a curriculum. It won't be 100% perfect, but you can use it as a place to start from. Create a curriculum based on everyday topics for ESL learners. Sure, here's a curriculum, vocabulary, grammar, the reading and writing, speaking and listening, culture and society. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers write, please give or can you write? No need to be polite to the AI. Give it instructions. Unless they're trying to get into the robot's good side before the inevitable revolution. ChatGPT AI can help teachers in creating lesson plans that are aligned with the learning objectives and standards. By analyzing the curriculum and providing recommendations, teachers can create effective lesson plans that engage students and improve learning outcomes. While there is no substitute for your own creativity and invention when creating lessons, ChatGPT can save you lots of time by jump-starting those ideas. You can ask the app to create a lesson about nearly anything for any audience, and it will give you a nice bulleted list of options. These plans are usually not fully formed, but they often contain really good ideas that you can build upon. Asking quality follow-up questions can help you use ChatGPT to refine those ideas even further. Review the present continuous tense, what they are doing at the moment, brainstorm situations when they might be using the past continuous tense, differentiating between the past continuous and past simple, good idea, wrap up and review, and then they've also got assessment here. That brings us to vocabulary. Ask ChatGPT for a list of vocabulary that is level appropriate, then write a story using the vocabulary. Write 10 words and their definitions for a to ESL learners about travel. You can even translate the vocabulary into another language. Use the previous vocabulary to write a story for ESL learners about travel. Tom was a tourist from UK who dreamt, here we go, accommodation. Did we have accommodation? Does he have passport? Boarding pass. That brings us to creating resources. Write reading passages, poems, articles. You can even ask the AI to generate comprehension questions to accompany the story. Write 10 comprehension questions on the previous story. Where is Tom from? How long was Tom's trip to New York City? What did Tom bring with him on the plane? And then we can go even further. What grammar can be taught based on the story? Past tense verbs, prepositions of place. Isn't this scary? <laughs> you know, it takes us a long time to figure these things out. Here I'm sitting and in a minute I can figure out a lesson plan that I can use for my students. Gerons, infinitives adjectives how to teach something so let's say you want to know how to teach a certain type of grammar or topic to students chat gpt can then act as a teacher and explain how they would teach it how it would teach it you are an esl teacher how would you teach k 
countable and uncountable nouns. Introduce this concept, provide examples, show a picture of a single book or piles of books, countable nouns, discuss articles. I would then explain the countable nouns take articles A and the, uncountables nouns do not. Practice with quantifiers. To help the students practice distinguish between countable and uncountable nouns, I would provide exercises that use quantifiers like some, any, and a lot of. Finally, I would review some exceptions to countable, uncountable rule. Throughout the lesson, I would use a variety variety of teaching materials such as pictures, relia and sample sentences to help reinforce the concept of countable and uncountable nouns. I would also encourage the students to practice using countable and uncountable nouns in their own speech and writing to help solidify their understanding of the concept. You can also put it in tablet form. Explain the vocabulary at a level that is suitable for your learners. Teachers can ask chat GPT to generate sentences using a particular word, then have students guess the meaning of the words based on the context of the sentence. Use the vocabulary vocabulary to create a table quiz word definition accommodation <laughs> uh, you guys are thinking this too aren't you oh okay there we go so now students have to kind of find out which one goes with what? Create questions for reading checks. Explain grammar. Explain the past tenuous tense. Describe an action or situation that was pro progressed at a specific point in the past. Past continuous tense is formed by using the past tense of the verb to be. I was studying English yesterday. They were watching a movie when I arrived. You can also ask it for examples, which it gave us here. So you can say, oh, give me 10 examples of the past continuous tense. You can also create solved examples of math problems, chemistry equations with explanations for each step. You can even give assignments. Create a speaking assignment based on the past continuous. I'm Divide the class into pairs and small groups. Assign each group a scenario. You were at a party last night. Instruct the groups to take turns asking and answering questions about what they were doing during the assigned scenario. Encourage the students to use a variety variety of past continuous verbs and time expressions. After 10 to 15 minutes of conversation, have each group present a summary of their conversation to class. For example, the scenario is you were on vacation in a while last week. And here are some sample questions that you can use. ChatGPT can create a closed comprehension test where words are removed from a passage and the reader is asked to fill in the blanks to test their understanding of the main ideas, vocabulary and sentence structure of the passage. Using the story of travel above, create a close test with 10 words being removed. Here we go, we've got a closed test. Isn't that amazing? ChatGPT can create rubrics aligned to specific standards. ChatGPT will compose a rubric for any type of student performance. It can also create checklists to document the student's academic, social, emotional, and physical progress. Create a rubric for presentations, content, 40 points, delivery, language use, demonstrates appropriate grammar and vocabulary. You can adjust the criteria and points. And then we can say, put it in table format. Your brain must be exploding with all the ideas you can use for this. Brainstorm activities. What activities or games can you use for specific topics? Five activities to use with kindergarten students to practice new vocabulary. To match raids, memory games with matching cards, word puzzles, vocabulary hunt, hide pictures of flashcards with the new vocabulary around the classroom and have students find them. Produce posters that list classroom rules. 10 reasons why algebra is important to students' future or 20 most common writing errors of high school students with a short definitions and examples included. Make a poster with 10 common mistakes ESL learners make. Thank you for that poster. An example can be customized. ChatGPT can create questions from any text and provide an answer key. It can also create homework writing prompts. Discussion prompts. Use ChatGPT to write engaging and open-ended prompts for 
whole classroom discussions on a topic. What are some interesting places you've visited? Do you prefer to travel alone or with friends? Have you ever experienced culture shock when traveling to a new place? What happened? Have you ever had a bad experience while traveling? What is your dream destination for travel? IEP goals, individual in the education plans. ChatGTP can help teachers create personalized learning plans for each student based on individual strengths, weaknesses, and learning styles. By analyzing student data and providing recommendations teachers can create customized lessons that cater to the needs of each student. You can even make it for learners with learning difficulties. Quizzes. Align all your quiz questions on a topic or reading with common core standards. Ask ChatGTP to create tests on specific topics using any type of question format. Paste a passage into the chatbot or identify a title or chapter of a classic piece of literature and the AI will produce a test bank and answer key. Create a quiz on holes what is stanley sent to the camp for you see what i'm talking about what is the nickname i don't even remember what his nickname was template use the ai to create templates for annual reports or for common emails you can create permission sheets or other correspondence documents you can create notes for parents ask chat gpt to create permission sheets for guardians to sign up for field trips or other activities using chat gpt teachers can streamline communication with parents colleagues and administrators via ai composed welcome to class letters, newsletter copies, uh, volunteer and donation requests, supply lists, grants and field trip proposals. You can create report comments for your students. Fix errors like grammar feedback. When kids make grammar errors, teachers can direct ChatGPT to, de to define, describe and identify how to improve the error and also provide examples. What is the error and give examples on how to fix it. Of course, the subject verb agreement, I knew that. Some uh, examples on how to fix errors. We should also teach our students how to use it responsibly. Students can submit their writing to ChatGPT and get suggestions on improvement. Rather than see AI as the enemy, we should teach our students to use it responsibly. They can do the writing in class, then for homework, fix it, and explain what improvements they made using ChatGPT. By proactively introducing ChatGPT to students, we encourage them to use and practice it for debate assignments, uh, develop business proposal templates, and it can they can gather information on other historical figures. We can prepare for tough discussions. For example, someone's son comes in because they're a bully. You can say, what advice could you give to a parent as a teacher when their son is bullying someone else? Listen to your child, convey the seriousness of the situation, set clear expectations, encourage empathy, seek professional help if needed. Well, there we go. You can prepare for these difficult conversations that way. Build information literacy. ChatGPT can be a valuable tool to help teachers build information literacy skills in the classroom. After students have used ChatGPT to generate a response tailored to their research question, teachers could use this moment to show students how to evaluate the validity, credibility, and veracity of AI-generated information. The CRAB test is a helpful evaluation tool to help students assess whether online resources are current, relevant, authoritative, accurate, and purposeful. Simplified explanations. Grammar explanations or other things ask ChatGPT to create a passage, chapter, or book summary for students who need support. The tool can also function as a text compactor that analyzes readings and creates more concise, condensed, versions. Create study guides. Designing effective study guides that meet the needs of each student can be a challenge for teachers. At the same time, if students create their own study guides, they may not be well organized or necessarily accurate. ChatGPT can help address this problem by generating study guides that are customized to students' needs. Dialogues and role plays. For example, ESL conversations. Students can ask ChatGTP, can we have a conversation in a restaurant? You can be the server and ChatGPT can write the dialogue of a server while the student responds. They can also create dialogues that they can use with a partner. Provide word problems. For example, using ratios. ChatGPT gives the problem, the formula for solving it, and a full explanation of the procedure. 350 divided by seven 
word problem for math. There we go, easy. A slideshow or presentations. ChatGPT can outline a slideshow and you supply the visuals. Differentiation. Customize materials for different preferences. For simplifying the language, adjusting to different reading levels, creating tailored activities for different interests. If you need a choice board for an art activity, boom, done. Furthermore, AI will generate differentiated rubrics for assignments, customized expectations, and levels of challenge. ChatGPT can also create chapter summaries for kids. Give a chapter summary of holes chapter one. Chapter One of Holes by Louisa Char introduces the main character Stanley Yelnuts. You can also use it for literary devices. So in Holes, you could ask uh, what symbolism is there? What is the main idea? You can also use it for poems if you want to analyze poetry. Pre-reading. Extract keywords from a chapter and define those words. Build a pre-reading or advanced organizer by extracting critical and unfamiliar vocabulary from a chapter and listing keywords with their definitions. It can also be a smarter search engine. Search for complex answers. So if you need something explained, find the answer on ChatGPT. Make lists. List 100 commonly used adjectives. You can also do it with examples. Build essay outlines. Give the essay outlines for the symbolism in holes. Introduction, background, information on the novel, brief summary of the plot, thesis statement, the significance of lizards, <laughs> significance of onions, conclusion, restate the thesis, summarize main points, and concluding thoughts. Brainstorm ideas. If you're stuck in a rut and looking for new ideas, consider asking ChatGPT for ideas. For instance, you can ask for strategies to facilitate cooperation in a second grade classroom or might ask for ways to authentically apply a certain geometry concept. The list of ideas that you get back can help you think of new ways to generate fresh approaches in your classroom. X-Factor instruction. When I asked ChatGPT to devise a challenging and creative approach to teaching metaphors, ChatGPT described an activity that involved integrating student-created metaphors into original stories conveyed through visual genres, like a comic strip or a storyboard. Simplify topics. Having difficulty articulating an advanced concept? Ask GPT to explain the topic to a first grader. Develop instructions that describe cooperative learning roles and expectations. Generate assignment directions with a detailed overview, grading criteria, and a description of the required format, task, and details. Give instructions for students that have have to do a speech on a historical figure. Choose your historical figure, research your topic. Prompt generator. The tool can compose writing prompts for any genre and include a corresponding rubric. Make flashcards with questions and answers. Create 20 flashcards with questions and answers for business, English. What does ROI stand for? Return on investment. What is the difference between revenue and profit? Fantastic questions that you can use with this. Flip the classroom. Just as you can learn from ChatGPT, your students can learn from it as well. Give students a homework assignment to learn something about a new topic on ChatGPT and teach Teach it to their classmates in class. One of the best ways to learn is to teach. So get your students teaching and they'll also be learning. For example, in history class, you can have different students learn about major events in different decades from ChatGPT and have them make a PowerPoint or video presentation to teach their classmates about their topic. Reinforce and expand your knowledge. You can ask it questions related to the subject you're studying and see how well you understand the material or learn something new. For example, if you're a science teacher and teaching about the history of the atomic structure, you can write in ChatGPT 
tell me the history of the atomic structure and it will pull out all the resources together to give you a concise response. Access resources. ChatGTP also provides links to online resources and educational materials that can help you teach a particular subject. Whether you're looking for videos, articles or interactive learning experiences, ChatGPT can help you find whatever you need to support your teaching. What online resources can I use to help ESL learners practice their listening? ESL listening, this website, Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. ChatGPT can help teachers improve their courses by pointing out gaps in their lectures and consolidating content and information to support curriculum delivery with deep learning. Feedback and assessment. ChatGTP can assist teachers in grading assignments and providing feedback to students. By using natural language processing algorithms, ChatGTP AI can help teachers evaluate written assignments and provide constructive feedback to students. Answering students' queries. ChatGTP AI can answer students' questions and provide assistance with homework assignments. Students can interact with the AI in a natural language and it can provide accurate and relevant information. Generate directions and tip sheets. ChatGTP is good for curating this type of information. It can save you lots of time. For instance, if you want to give your students tips on how to stay organized in email or Google Drive, you can ask the app to, for these tips and share them with your students. ChatGTP is an amazing tool that we as educators should not be afraid of, but actually use to improve our teaching.